G'day and welcome back. Today I have a deer hide. Now this hide I've had for about two years now. And what I want to do with this one is, if you have a look here, you'll see some of the skins peeling off. That's fine. Now what I could do is I can get a, uh, uh, a block and just rub it all down and that'll bring that all back nicely. But what I want to do with this one, I've still got the hair on. The hair's still on the back. Actually what happened last night is, yesterday I did this one, I moistened it and I wanted to stretch it out. And we've got a big thunderstorm so it stayed out and I went in. And it got a bit more wet than I wanted to, but it doesn't matter, it's all dry now. That's, that's why it's like that, you can hear that. That's dry. What I'm going to do now is take this off and I'm going to put it in my solution and I'm going to tan it. I'm not going to be overly, you know, I'm not going to work it too much because what I want to do with this one, I don't know if you can pick the camera can pick it up, but you can see I've marked out here, okay, I'm going to make a bag out of it because here in Australia we have to pay for our bags every time we go to the supermarket and you know, they only last a very short time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a section out and I'm going to hopefully be able to get another section out of here once I've stretched all this out and I'm going to make a bag out of this one. When you go to make a bag or something like that, always make sure you leave at least two to two and a half centimeters further on your border. So there's the, there's the border there. So don't cut there, cut about two and a half centimetres further. That way when you go and sew it, you don't suddenly find, oh, my bag's smaller than what I thought it would be. And this one is, uh, I've used a template off a bag that I got from one of the shopping centres. Because the different shopping centres, the different shops have bigger or smaller bags. So it's totally up to you. You know, if you want to get a bigger bag or a smaller bag but just put the template on mark it out make sure you have a two to two and a half centimeter border stretch it out work it you can work it as, as soft as you want it you can have this really soft if you want or you can just you know have it mediocre soft but i decided not to make clothes or anything out of this one because it has been two years I've had this in storage two years now and it has has these and I think to myself if you're going to make clothes um, make sure you get the best skin you possibly can so that's what I'm going to do with this one I'm going to uh, take it down now and I'm going to put it in the solution I'll leave it overnight which I always leave um, well usually when I do my tanning I tan in the afternoons and that way I leave it overnight and then I bring it out in the morning and I do it. Where I am at the moment, you know, the skin will dry in an hour. You know, it's very, very hot here, but it's also a very dry heat. You know, I think today's 38, 38 or 40 degrees. You know, so, but that's what I'm gonna do with this one. So whenever you've got a skin and you think, oh, I know this, but the skin's no good. Even if it's got a, a, when you're working it, sometimes you'll put holes in them. Even if you put holes in them, they're still good for bags, you know. You can always stitch the hole up. When you stitch the hole up, you know, you can use it for bags, um, anything, anything you want. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I've got, I've got a several. This is not the only one. I'm not going to get the whole template out of this one skin, but I'm going to get enough. You know, uh, to make a shirt, it's usually about, um, usually about three skins will make a shirt. With me, it's probably about four skins, but <laughs> it doesn't matter. So, when I get this done, I'll, let, I'll show you, so let you know. But that's what we're going to do with this one. What I've done here is what I do with all my skins. I've taken the flesh off and I've just pulled it out, stretched it out, let it dry. As it dries hard like that, I usually come along and just loosen these off so these sort of things don't happen. Okay, oh, well, I hope that's given you some inspiration. And if you, um, if you like what you see, hit the like button, subscribe, 
and we'll show you more content. I'm going to have a look at an old uh, abandoned my site a couple of days time if I can get out there. So if you want to come along, put in the comments and let me know. Alright, till then, stay safe and we'll catch you next time. Thank you. Oh, before you go, what I want to do, I'll just turn this around and what I want to show you is if you use deer, you know, you might have a beautiful thick deer hide or just remember the hair does come out, okay? Even when you go through your process, you know, like in, in one of the processes you put it in the vinegar and vinegar will help tighten the, the uh, fur up. I'll show you that in the video. You know, when I made the video I showed you. This is an ongoing thing though. This will be, you know, it, do, it doesn't fall out in such great contents that you get a big ball patch. You know, maybe 50 years time you might, but it does keep coming out. And that's because of fibres. I'm pretty sure, I think I read somewhere where the fibres are hollow and that's why they keep coming out like that. But yeah, for a bag or, or um, oh, gun case, you know, just about whatever you want, um, it'd still be alright. You know, it's just a natural thing, it's just a natural occurring thing. That's why most people, uh, when they do a hide, they take the fur off and they keep the fur off. And that's the main reason why, it's because it does keep flaking off. Uh, okay then, All right, I'm going to take this one down, I'm going to put in the solution and we'll come back tomorrow morning and we'll start the process of stretching it. I'll show you that. Stay safe.